In today's photo deconstruction, I'm going to show you how to create an iconic image using just two strobes and two gels. Hey everybody, Lindsay Adler here, and today I want to show you how to use some common tools, but for really extraordinary results. Now the image that you see here was actually made during one of my hands-on intensive workshops. In these workshops, I strive for the highest quality of production value. Professional models, hair and makeup, beautiful wardrobe, styling, incredible lighting. And so if you'd ever like to join me for one of these workshops, be sure to visit learnwithlindsay.com and visit the events and workshops section. These sell out way in advance, so I usually post almost a year before the workshops. All right, so now let's take a look at this shot. Would you believe me if I told you that this image was made with just two strobes? Well, it was, but it was two strobes used in an unusual way. So let's take a look at the behind the scenes. All right, so is this what you expected? Is this what you thought it would be like? All right, so let me show you what's going on here. First and foremost, let's actually start with the background light. The background light that I have here is just a three by four foot softbox, that's it. But a little bit of a twist, I've added a red gel to this softbox. And the reason that I've done that is that it'll give me a beautiful red light, a large light source directly behind my subject but I wanted to kind of just wrap around the subject's profile all the way around her neck and the top of her head. But in order to do that, to make that color really pop, I'd like her to be against a black background, basically to be low key and then have her carved out with red. All right, so how do I make that work? We well, can see it in the behind the scenes. What I've done is I've taken a 24 by 36 black flag. It's a Matthews flag, but you could use a piece of foam core, a piece of blackboard, and I've placed it directly behind her. Now, because that flag is right up against the back of her head, and then that softbox is right up against the back of the flag, what happens is the light kind of leaks out around the edge of the flag, and that's what gives her the beautiful rim light. And so when you look back at the final shot, it looks like there's many lights illuminating her, a rim from either side, a hair light from above, but instead, we've achieved this with a single strobe with just a little bit of creative problem solving. And so that's our first light, our rim light. And then how about the main light? Well, first of all, you could photograph the subject in silhouette and do so with just a single light. But in this case, I wanted to play around with a little bit more of complementary colors. And so our main light here, I used a bare bulb, no modifier, with a blue and teal gel mixed together. So I wanted to be kind of a red and green complement or close to it. Now you will see that in post-processing, I shift this a little bit until it looks most pleasing to my eye. Before we take a look at the before and afters of the image, let's talk a little bit about my camera. I was shooting with the Canon R5 and the 24 to 105 lens. It's my go-to studio setup. And I was shooting at 5.6 and ISO 400. All right, now let's look back over at that final image. I love it because it is clean and it's poppy and it's iconic looking, but let's see where I started. So how far off was I? All right, so this is where we began. There's a few things that are kind of missing. Uh, first and foremost, I think the picture is a little bit washed out. And the reason is that I'm shooting directly into that softbox and in doing so, well, I get a little bit of lens flare. I lose a little bit of contrast. So in my post-processing, I already knew in my camera raw, I needed to add some contrast, probably add a little bit of clarity, maybe even darken down the image a little bit. So the first thing I needed to do is adjust the color grade. So notice, adding the contrast and the clarity does quite a bit to improve the shot. There's one more thing that you'll see is, originally I thought maybe red and green was the way to go, but I, I, I just started playing around and shifting. Uh, in Capture One, I went over to the color balance and I took a hold of those greens and I started shifting it. And I decided that I liked it a little bit more blue, a little bit more cyan. And that's where I ended up with the color. Now looking at the shot, what else would I want to clean up? There's not a whole lot, there's some stray hairs, but I did just barely clip the end of the hair on the right-hand side. So I knew that I wanted to extend the frame, give her a little bit more breathing room and clean up the edges of the hair, which takes us to where we ended up with the final shot. Now, because my goal was to create something graphic and iconic and colorful, I really wanted to make sure everything was clean and pristine. And so just those little touches in Photoshop, I think made all of the difference. Now this particular setup, if you've never done it before and you wanna know about the ratios, like the power of the background light to the main light and, and how they all work together and the distance of the light and all of that, well, guess what? I have this exact setup available for you in the Magic of Gels Lighting Recipe Guide. So at learnwithlindsay.com, you can find one of these lighting recipe guides and in it, I have the power of the light, the modifiers, the distance of the light, and so much more. And of course, 
more than 20 other setups. I have many lighting recipe guides, which are a great jumping off point for you to get creative in the studio. Now, if you'd like to see the gear that was used in the making of this image, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com. And of course, if you've enjoyed these photo deconstructions, you're going to want to subscribe because I have so many videos just like this one here on YouTube. And if you want a hands-on experience, you want to be able to ask me questions and see these lighting setups in practice, be sure to check out Learn With Lindsay and visit the events and workshop sections. See you next time, guys.